consider this last question. Now, this is a question that came in IIT Jam 2021 exam. So the question says the following. Let W be a subspace of vector space R3 over a field R spanned by. So you're given 0, minus 1, 2 and 2, minus 1, 0. So these are the two vectors that, that are spanning the entire vector space. And now it asks which of the following vectors. lie in W and four vectors are given 1 1 1 minus 1 1 1 1 minus 1 1 1 1 minus 1. So it's a very simple question. It's saying these two vectors are spanning one of these vectors. So one of this vector is a linear combination of these vectors. That's it. So let's go ahead and say that what will be a linear combination of the vectors of these vectors. So linear combination would be lambda 1 into the first vector which is 0 minus 1 2 plus lambda 2 into the second vector 2 minus 1 0. So this should be my vector v1, v2, v3. So I will get 0 plus 2 lambda 2 minus lambda 1 minus lambda 2, 2 lambda 1 plus 0 and I should get here v1, v2, v3. So I should get 2 lambda 2 minus lambda 1 minus lambda 2 and 2 lambda 1 is equal to v1, v2, v3. You're given four vectors. Whichever vector satisfies these three equations simultaneously is the answer. So the first vector that you're given is 1, 1, 1. So I will say 2 lambda 2 is equal to 1 minus lambda 1 minus lambda 2 is equal to 1. 2 lambda 1 is equal to 1. So from here, I will get lambda 2 as half. From here, I will get lambda 1 as half. But when I put half here and half here, I will get minus half minus half, which is not equal to 1. So this vector, 1, 1, 1, does not satisfy this equation when the vector is put in. Right? I'm not getting a consistent answer. Let's put in, in the other vector. So 2 lambda 2 minus lambda 1 minus lambda 2. 2 lambda 1 and now let's take the other vector given to us which is minus 1 1 1 from here I will get 2 lambda 2 is equal to minus 1 so lambda 2 is equal to minus half from the second equation I will get minus lambda 1 minus lambda 2 as 1 so minus lambda 1 minus minus half is equal to 1 so I will get minus lambda 1 as half and I will get lambda 1 as minus half. Let's put in the third equation. Not satisfied. Third equation says lambda 1 is half. But second says lambda 1 is minus half. So it does not satisfy. Let's look at the third one. 2 lambda 2 minus 1 lambda 1 minus lambda 2 2 lambda 1 and equate it to the third vector, 1 minus 1, 1. So the first equation gives us lambda 2 as half. Second gives us lambda 1 as half. And third, when I put half, half, I get minus half, minus half, which is minus 1. So it is satisfied. So, you know, the third vector satisfies these equations simultaneously, all three equations. It is giving me a consistent answer. So the answer to this question is 
C. The third vector is spanned by the first two vectors. It has been created as a linear combination of the first two vectors.